Hello everyone. Welcome to the Forexer channel. In this video, I will introduce you to the win rate 95% strategy. You can use this strategy in the Forex, crypto, and stocks markets. My suggested time frame is 15 minutes. In this strategy, I have used three indicators. The support slash resistance dynamic indicator uses a complex algorithm to identify key support and resistance levels, taking into account recent price action and market volatility. The indicator plots these levels on the chart as horizontal lines, making it easy for traders to see where price may encounter support or resistance. The Q trend indicator gives buy and sell signals. Traders can use the Q trend indicator to identify potential entry and exit points, as well as to confirm trend direction and momentum. The indicator can also be used to filter out noise and false signals in the market, helping traders to make more informed trading decisions. Trendolo indicator is a technical analysis tool used to identify trends and changing trends in the market. Traders can use the Trendolo indicator to identify possible entry and exit points, as well as to confirm the direction and movement of the trend. This indicator can also be used to filter out noise and false signals in the market and help traders make more informed trading decisions. Hanko Trade is an exceptional online broker that offers professional and reliable services to its clients in the financial markets. With a state-of-the-art trading platform and access to various markets, Hanko Trade enables you to trade efficiently and effectively. Additionally, Hanko Trade provides its clients with useful educational resources to improve their trading skills and knowledge. Regarding the 100% promotional offer, it's an exciting opportunity for both new and existing clients of Hanko Trade. With this promotion, you can double your deposit and have more funds for trading. I recommend that you visit the website of Hanko Trade and open an account to experience the difference for yourself. As an exceptional online broker, Hanko Trade offers professional and reliable services in the financial markets. To get started, simply click on the registration link in the description and follow the steps to open an account. Once you have opened an account, you can take advantage of the various features and tools that Hanko Trade offers to help you achieve your trading goals. Enter the TradingView website. From the Indicators tab, search for the Support Resistance, Dynamic Indicator and add it to the chart. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Now I will search for the Q trend indicator and add it to the chart. I will search the Trendolo indicator and add it to the chart. Then you change their settings like me.
rules for entering a buy position. When the price reaches the support zone, wait for the bullish candle to close and give a buy signal. Usually, bullish candlestick patterns are formed in these areas. This is an important confirmation. Now look at the Trendelow indicator, the white line should be at the bottom of the band in the oversold area. When the white line crosses the purple line upwards, you can open a buy position. Stop loss would be the recent swing low. A just take profit risk to reward 1 to 2. Resistance lines can be used as targets. To enter a long position in a support zone, consider the market trend, use technical analysis, employ risk management, and stay up to date with market news. Once you identify an entry point, monitor the market closely and adjust your position as necessary to minimize risk and maximize profits. The rules of entering the sell position. When the price reaches the resistance zone, wait for the bearish candle to close and give a sell signal. Usually, bearish candlestick patterns are formed in these areas. This is an important confirmation. Now look at the Trendolo indicator, the white line should be above the band in the overbought area. When the white line crosses the purple line downwards, you can open a sell position. Stop loss would be the recent swing high, a just take profit risk to reward 1 to 2. Support lines can be used as targets. To enter a short position, traders should consider market trends, use technical analysis, employ risk management, stay up to date with market news, be aware of short selling rules, and time their entry carefully. Once an entry point is identified and the position is entered, traders should monitor the market closely and adjust the position as necessary to minimize risk and maximize potential profits. I'm reviewing signals here, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Now, I want to familiarize you with two common occurrences in financial markets that happen in support and resistance zones. Fake breakouts and stop hunting are two common occurrences that can impact trading in support and resistance zones. A fake breakout occurs when an asset appears to break out of a trading range or pattern but then quickly reverses direction. This can be frustrating for traders who may have entered a position based on the apparent breakout but then find themselves stopped out shortly after. Stop hunting, on the other hand, is when traders try to trigger stop-loss orders to create a temporary price move in the opposite direction of the trade. This can cause traders to exit their positions prematurely and miss out on potential gains. To avoid these events, traders should use technical analysis to identify key support and resistance levels. They should also employ risk management techniques such as stop-loss orders to limit potential losses. It's important to keep an eye on market news and events that could impact the price of the asset being traded and adjust positions accordingly. Moreover, Traders can use tools such as volume indicators to detect potential fake breakouts and avoid entering positions at these times. In addition, traders should be aware of the potential for stop hunting and use caution when placing stop loss orders. They can also consider using alternative risk management techniques such as trailing stops. As a trader, I use the technique of using a floating stop loss to manage my risk when trading in support and resistance zones. This technique involves setting a stop loss level that adjusts based on the market conditions, allowing me to limit losses, while still giving myself the potential to profit as the market moves in my favor. The floating stop loss is an essential tool for any trader looking to manage their risk effectively. It helps to minimize losses by allowing traders to exit a trade automatically if the market moves against them beyond a certain point. At the same time, it also allows traders to remain in a trade if the market moves in their favor, potentially maximizing profits. Ultimately, the key to successful trading in support and resistance zones is having a solid understanding of the market and the various tools and techniques available to traders. I recommend watching the video linked at the top of the page, as it provides valuable insights into the market and can help change viewers' perspectives on trading. By taking the time to learn about different strategies and techniques, traders can increase their chances of success and achieve their financial goals. As a passionate trader, I love sharing my knowledge and insights with others who are also interested in the world of trading. That's why I encourage all viewers to support our channel by liking, commenting, and sharing our videos on social media. By doing so, you can help us reach a wider audience and provide valuable information to traders around the world. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, our channel offers a wealth of resources and information to help you achieve your trading goals. So, if you find our content valuable, please show your support by liking, commenting, and sharing our videos on social media. Together, we can build a community of traders who are passionate about the markets and committed to helping each other succeed. Thank you for your support.